let's move ahead with a demonstration of how these tools can be put into action for the joint analysis of event and aggregate data. For the first example, we want to review two program indicators in the same table. The number of facilities offering antenatal care services and the number of facilities offering family planning services. The best way to view these data are using a pivot table in the Data Visualization app. You should be familiar with this form of visualization from the DHIS2 Fundamentals course. However, you should note that the pivot table is now a visualization type within the Data Visualizer app, rather than in a separate app within DHIS2. While pivot tables are in a new location, the same principles discussed in the Fundamentals course on making a pivot table still apply. Search for the Data Visualizer app in the Search Apps field and open it. The items we want to select for our data visualization start with selecting the type of visualization. In the Chart Types drop-down menu in the top left corner of the app, select Pivot Table. Now we need to select the main dimensions that we would like to view in the table. Under the data type, choose Program Indicators, and then select the program SARA RCH. All program indicators that relate to this program are listed in the available box. You will notice that program indicators are organized by program, not an indicator group as you may be typically used to. Select the program indicators Facilities Offering ANC and Facilities Offering Family Planning Services. Click on Hide to close the data selector. For the period dimension, under the fixed periods, select the period type as yearly, and then select 2020 from the available list. Make sure you unselect last 12 months as well. Then click Hide to close the period selector. For the organization unit dimension, ensure training land is selected in the hierarchy tree, and then use the level option to select districts. This will ensure that all districts in training land are shown in the table. Click on hide to close the organization unit selector. To ensure we can view the number of facilities offering these services by district, let's change the layout around to bring the organization units to the row dimension and the periods into the filter dimension. Now that we have selected all of the dimensions for our pivot table and have ensured the correct layout of the table, Click Update to view the pivot table. If we only want to view rows with data in them, in the Options, we can select Hide Empty Rows. Another useful option we can add to this table are the column totals. In this example, the column totals will give us the total number of facilities in training land that offer these two services. Let's add this to the table as well. And then click Update. You might be wondering what the difference between this table 
and the types of aggregated tables that can be made in the event reports are. In event reports, you can take a single data element and aggregate the responses within that single data element for comparison. For example, one of the questions on our survey is, does this facility offer family planning services? With the response of yes or no. In event reports, we can tally the total number of yes and no responses and compare them in a single table. We cannot, however, take two or more different data elements and compare the individual responses within each of these individual data elements. This is something that program indicators help us with, as is the case in our current example where we are taking data from two different data elements or questions in our survey. This is a very simple example of how we can view aggregated totals using program indicators. We will pause here to allow you to recreate this pivot table following the activities for this unit. Thank you.